In this video, we will quickly see the code and discuss about four methods to take user input for a string or a character array in C language. And the environment that we will be using is Linux. The flavor of Linux is Ubuntu 19. Let's start. So we all know that the most common method of taking user input in C language is scanf. But there is a problem with that method it doesn't work with strings or character arrays and what is the problem let's see that so first of all let's see the scanf method Okay, so this is the code. Here we are taking user input for this uh, character array message and then we are printing it on screen. Let's run it and see what happens. I didn't save my script. So it is printed successfully, right? So scanf works fine when you are printing something with one word. Right, let's let's try it again. And this time let's write something long in our message. Now you can see that this was our input, right? But what is displayed is just the first word of our, our input and the rest of the words are ignored by scanf why because you can see a space here so uh, scanf only considers the first uh, word of the input so uh, what happens is whenever a space occurs it terminates input so it thinks that uh, your input is terminated when a space is a present so so space works like enter Right? So when you press enter, your input is terminated. But scanf thinks that whenever you press space, your input is terminated. So to solve this issue, let's uh, modify our code and use another function. So let's use the function get s. And we will pass the name of our string or array, character array in it. And it will take the input and it will solve our problem of uh, spaces. This method, get s, is very dangerous and it has gotten old. We have another version available now. Why is this method dangerous? Because it takes infinite number of characters from user and that uh, makes the possibility of a uh, buffer overflow. And we cannot stop that. Right. So we never use this method, never, ever use it. I'm just writing it down here to show you. And we will see another method that actually solves our problem, but I'm just using it to show you. So don't use it, though. OK, let's compile our program. So when I compile my program, you can see here that it's giving me a warning and telling me that this function get s is dangerous and should not be used right so we actually should not use it although this program will work fine but this method should not be used now let's run it once and see what happens so if i write some message with spaces in between them in between the words let's see it will uh, work fine so let's see another method Okay, the next method is f get s, right? And it has three, uh, three arguments. Let's see those. The first argument is the name of the string or character array which I've written. The second argument is the size of uh, user input. So here we will put the size of this character array, right? And that size is 30. So we can put that. But if you want to make it more generic, you can also write size of here. You can use this function 
it will automatically get the size of that array even if you change it later on you think you should not use it maybe you say that we should put it 40 here so whatever the size is it will be uh, calculated by this function okay the third uh, argument of this is standard input stdin now let's run it and see what happens So you, you can see now that there is no warning. Let's run it. So this is our message. Let's see. So it's printed successfully. So this is the mat method that you can use for your user input. Also, there is one more thing. If you don't want to pr write printf, you can use another function here which will work the same and that is put s so put s will just put your uh, message on screen right like this let's see let's run it one more time so you can see that right okay now there is one more method which is uh, kind of a little bit weird and interesting I want to share that with you too let's see that method too so instead of writing f get s we actually use scan f again right but we use it uh, in a little bit tricky way so what we do is here you write percent percentage percentage sign and then square brackets and within the square brackets you mention that up till which character you want your in input to be considered, right? So after which character you want it to be terminated, that's what we mean. So we want it to be terminated at the press of enter, or you can say a new line or black backslash n, right? So that's what I've written here. And then you write that uh, ignore the last character, the backslash n, ignore this character, which we have just written here, ignore it. For that, we have written static C here. So it's, it's kind of, different and, and weird so I, I think you've not, never seen something like this before and then afterwards you write the name of your uh, character array so that is message in our case we've written this and then afterwards you can just simply print it on screen or you can use the math, uh, method put us so let's see if it works or not See, it's working fine.